Ya, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat sore, salam sejahtera semuanya. Now we come to the next uh, students effectiveness of using graphic novel as a tool to improve reading comprehension in extensive reading, uh, pre-experimental research uh, written by Era Elvina. The title is fine, yeah. Uh, unless, unless perhaps yeah, graphic graphic novels is actually uh, it's not new things, yeah. So that's quite old topics, yeah. Uh, um, graphic novel is kind of a uh, picture series, yeah, auto pictures, yeah. So teaching using pictures is actually is not, uh, once again, it's, it is not a uh, new topic. But okay, uh, if you really want to go on with this topic, it is possible, but you have to make it, uh, you know, in your introduction, you have to really uh, write this introduction to to make it it sound not too old. I mean, you have to to argue that uh, a graphic novel is kind of uh, things that still needed uh, to uh, to help students uh, to to read more uh, to to love reading. Yeah. So, for example, you can start from reading. Uh, reading is kind of yeah. Uh, a skill, one of the skills in English, and by by reading, uh, we can uh, have knowledge. Yeah, expand our uh, knowledge. Yeah, uh, it's kind of reading is the key to the knowledge and so on like that. So, you 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 should argue that uh, reading skill is very uh, important yeah, for someone. So that's why to develop. Uh, reading skill is one also the important things in learning language. By reading, you can be exposed to English, exposed to culture, exposed to knowledge, yeah, that related to English, perhaps, yeah. Now, once again, yeah, you, you argue that reading is important. <clears throat> Now, uh, because of it is important, so uh, the teacher need to be a uh, creative or to have something uh, unique. If not unique, perhaps something that can be attracting the student attention. Yeah, by using uh, graphic yeah, <clears throat> or pictures, yeah, something like that. So you argue that, and that's why we need to uh, do some kind of experimentation. Okay, so I hope that you revise your introduction following the suggestion that I have given to you. <clears throat> now, uh, there is a question, are okay, how is, how uh, is, is using graphic novel, not in the curriculum, perhaps in teaching, reading, comprehension, effective? Uh, so I repeat once again, is using graphic novels in teaching reading comprehension effective yeah, among seventh grade, blah, blah, blah. If it is effective, how effective is the using of uh, graphic novel and so on like that? Let's skip this, uh, research significance, uh, hypothesis, you talk about hypothesis is effective, is not effective variable, independent variable is the improving, is it? Oh, a graphic novel is the independence, the using of graphic novel in teaching. Yeah? And then dependent is reading comprehension mastery or perhaps the level of reading comprehension is dependent. Okay, now graphic novels. Graphic novel refer to narrative works that combine both visual and textual elements to convey story of information. It looks like perhaps uh, the uh, picture series. Yeah, you can uh, give more uh, explanation. Reading comprehension. This is, I don't think that uh, this is become uh, the terminology if you explain like this. 
But if you explain, for example, reading comprehension is specific skill needed by the school that you are teaching or something like that. So then, uh, <clears throat> or how, for example, the common comprehensions yeah, uh, among the student and so on like that. So you need to explore this definition uh, even uh, a bit uh, more specific. So uh, I think that's uh, that's what you need to uh, to be more specific. Uh, the same as vocabulary mastery. I don't know why you include vocabulary mastery uh, because in your case uh, you focus on reading comprehension. So do not explain vocabulary mastery. Extensive reading is okay. I think because it is included in your title, so that you need to define extensive reading. Uh, skills or definition. But here, you said that extensive reading is an approach. I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. I think extensive reading is kind of the, it can be the materials, yeah? The material, because the material is extensive, meaning that's to, uh, the broad uh, uh, spectrum of topics, for example, you, you have lots of ideas, uh, topics, and so on like that uh, in your reading. But once again, if you put it in your terminology, so you should uh, define this in very specific manner. Uh, I mean, the, spe uh, the specific ways, uh, because the definition is not kind of a dictionary definition. It is more on the explanation, you have to show the specific definition of the common word like extensive words, but it applies, I mean, the definition only applies in your case. <laughs> right, now the chapter two, I'm surprised you start from the very few research. Sebenarnya <laughs> not, not like this, yeah. So you should start as I always keep saying, you know, if your topic is about teaching or reading, vocabulary and so on, so your literature review should start from the table topics. Yeah. Mm. So your should be table. Mm. I mean, you talk about teaching definition of teaching, yeah? um, teaching English in a foreign language context, things like that. So we need to, to elaborate that. We need to discuss that yeah, to show that you understand about teaching in EFL context. Yeah. And I think uh, this topic is not a new thing for you, yeah, because as English student, you have been <clears throat> taught about this, this topic. So you need to, once again, to discuss these topics. And then the second topic, then you talk about the reading, teaching reading comprehension. Now, teaching reading comprehension, it need to be elaborated, need to be explained in greater detail because that's the focus of your research. Now, I saw here, that's correct, you have uh, reading comprehension. <clears throat> now, you need to talk, as I said, you need to talk about teaching reading yeah, first, then reading comprehension. Uh, and in reading comprehension, you need to talk about the aspects or the skill, sub skills of reading comprehension, things like that. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, <clears throat> your explanation. I think that's uh, more on the what's that? More on the I don't know what's that the components of comprehension. Meanwhile, your focus is actually teaching reading. Yeah, this is true that reading comprehension. Yeah. But I don't know, this one is really, I mean, are really part of the, uh, the, 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 the aspects of comprehension. Yeah. Like discourse knowledge, vocabulary knowledge, yes, syntactic knowledge and so like that. Okay, I think that's that's okay, this one, yeah. Uh, aim of reading, not needed. Yeah, you're not talking about aim of the reading. <laughs> Extensive reading, that's true. I think that's, you need to, to really talk about this. Yeah, extensive reading. <clears throat> what, what's the extensive reading means? Yeah. 
Uh, here, excel reading has become widely accepted. Yeah, you are not you are not talking about what extensive reading is. Yeah. Look here, yeah. Your writing is not really touching that one, the topic. This is the aim. I want to know how you define extensive reading. They define extensive reading as reading activity in a quantity in order to develop good reading habit. So extensive reading, reading activity in quantity, yeah, to build up knowledge. Okay, yeah. Actually, not really. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, <clears throat> the uh, extensive reading perhaps uh, can be two definition. Extensive reading is like this definition is okay, but uh, extensive reading also means that you read uh extensively meaning that you you uh you you brought uh, you have broad spectrum of topics yeah that you are re reading but anyway it's okay like that yeah and that principle of extensive reading i don't know that's why this easier <laughs> variety of reading material that's i think that's good i mean that's okay let us choose. This is not really okay. I don't know why. Why reading material is easy for extensive. Let us choose what they want. Then I need possible. So then why like this? Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> now we come to graphic novel. Okay, comics are the arts of telling stories. Yes, very good. Uh, but the way you you this you wrote this uh, you know uh, references is not correct. Ini harusnya Einsner by Ajit Dharma dalam kurung in brackets you know so uh, twelve two thousand twelve something like this says that because. Now, if it is one person, so perhaps you do, you just write Ajidharma says that comic, blah, blah, blah. Like this, Ajidharma, this is Ajidharma, this is Ajidharma, this is Ajidharma. I think this typo, yeah? And so on like that. Yeah. You need to have, perhaps, you need to have the example, the screenshot, perhaps, the photo that you uh, show here to in the I mean to explain what you mean by graphic novels. What is the difference, for example, graphic novels and picture sense? Conceptual frameworks once again, reading, graphic novel, reading comprehension, access reading, vocabulary. I don't know why this. Okay, I don't know. I have I have no idea this one, yeah. So meaning that reading, reading graphic, reading graphic novel is improve uh, comprehension, extensive, and and also uh, improve ex extensive reading. Yeah, still makes sense. And then you come to vocabulary mastery. Nah, ini yang nggak make sense. Mak saya uh, bisa saja sih ini make sense karena banyak membaca menjadi vocabulary mastery. But what I'm Saying is that uh, is, is this part of your research? Kan dan tadi cuma reading comprehension. Kenapa ini tujuannya sepertinya vocabulary gitu? Jadi pindah dari reading comprehension. This is your your this is your main goal of your research reading comprehension. Tapi kok tiba-tiba vocabulary mastery? Nah itu sepertinya dua dua penelitian yang berbeda. Selanjutnya recent methods. Uh, this is uh, apa, yeah. This is uh, experiment pre-experimental. Ini harusnya dijelaskan ya pretestnya apa, bagaimana pelaksanaan dan sebagainya. Nanda yang paling penting adalah you have to explain this. Ya, yeah. graf. Uh, bagaimana? What do you mean by teaching using graphic novels? Itu harus benar-benar dijelaskan. Treatmentnya itu seperti apa? Proses belajar dengan graphic novel itu apa? Sehingga bisa 
membuat student itu komprehensinya tinggi. Nah, itu kan harus ada ininya. Apa, uh, kronologinya seperti apa gitu. Nah, jadi pilih tes post test. Kemudian population and sample you talk about population ya. Yeah. And sample. Kilah okay nih. Kemudian teknik ya. Yeah. Pretest itu bukan pretest namanya. Selalu begini, I don't know why you. Almost every single student use a write this kind of proposal like this ya. Yeah. Anda tuh seperti menggunakan template gitu dan templatenya itu kesalahan yang turun menurun. Kita bicara tentang teknik data collection. Tekniknya kan harusnya bicara tentang measurement. Teknik pengumpulan data saya adalah teknik pengukuran, kan gitu. Kenapa ayo bicara pretest, kemudian treatment dan post test? Seolah ini adalah teknik pengumpulan data. No, this is not teknik pengumpulan data. Ini adalah kronologi ataupun eh, apa ya proses penelitian nah, harusnya itu dijelaskan di atas di sini kalau yang begini nih di sini menjelaskan tentang tools atau instrumen nih instrumennya harus dijelaskan mana instrumennya instrumen kamu apa coba kan teh apa harusnya kamu bicara tentang instrumen alat untuk mencari data, alat kamu apa? Itu adalah alat tes, tes apa? Tes comprehension, kan gitu dia. Nah, di sini harusnya kamu bicara tentang tes. Tes apa yang mau dipakai? Nah, seperti itu. Bagaimana kamu, kamu mengembangkannya? Aspeknya apa saja? Kalau you ada tadi aspek yang banyak di atas tadi itu, kenapa di sini tidak dijelaskan? Bahwa comprehension itu harus diukur dengan aspek-aspek komprehensif yang you jelaskan tadi di atas mana dia ini kan ini kamu bilang nih major component of reading comprehension decoding vocabulary system syntactic discourse reading aspect affective dan sebagainya kalau ini bagian daripada komponen uh, comprehension Berarti di sini kalau mengukur comprehension, berarti tesnya itu kan harus mengandung aspek-aspek yang di atas tadi. Nah, di sini kamu tidak jelaskan. Belum menjelaskan itu. ya. So, I think you, you need to, to talk this properly di bagian ini. Jangan sampai ada lagi, ada teknik of data collection, tapi isinya kok pre-test, treatment, post-test. Nah, itu kan ya. Uh, I keep telling this many times, ya, tapi masih tidak seperti itu. Teknik data analysis itu menggunakan rumus. Nah, ini terlalu nitites dan sebagainya. Saya anggap ini oke okay untuk sementara. Ya. Oke, okay, selanjutnya adalah bibliografi. Tadi cara nulisnya bukan seperti ini, ya. Ini salah. Gunakan APA, ya. Nah, IP itu tadi yang kawan kamu sebelumnya supaya Regina ya itu sudah bagus. Paling cuman ini aja yang bermasalah. Maksud saya uh, belum ada ya, halaman dan sebagainya. Halaman maksud saya. Nah ininya masih sangat uh, jauh dari benar nih. Kalau untuk uh, rujukannya adalah APA style. Kemudian kamu harus punya appendix, yaitu appendixnya adalah mestinya appendixnya adalah uh, apa tes yang sudah kamu kembangkan. Oke, saya kira itu saja ya uh, feedback dari saya. Semoga dapat di follow up ya tentang uh, apa proposal ini, revisinya nanti. Demikian saya Ri. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon. Bye bye. Good luck to your research.